Hello and welcome to Art Explorers, my name is Izzy. Today we are going to look at another artwork here at the Queensland Art Gallery. We are going to do some looking, some moving, and some singing. La 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 la! And then we are going to get creative and make something inspired by what we see. To all the parents and carers at home who may be watching, please join in if you can. Before we begin, let's acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we live and play, and pay respects to all elders of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Start by opening your hands, and now reach down to the ground and say, Hello land. Ready? One, two, three. Hello land. And now reach up high and say, hello sky. Ready? One, two, three. Hello sky. And now clap your hands together for all the clans who always have and always will protect these lands and call this place home. And now let's say hello to each other. Do you remember where I am? I'm at the Queensland Art Gallery, and today we are going to be looking at an artwork called Muted Expression by Tibetan artist Saren Sherpa. It looks something like this. All right, let's go find our artwork together. Wow, here it is. This is Muted Expression by Saren Sherpa. What kind of artwork do you think this is? Do you think it's a sculpture? No. Do you think it's a photograph? No. Do you think it's a painting? It is. Saren has used a special technique of painting called tanka painting. Tanka paintings are detailed pictures of important sacred figures and they are traditional in Tibet, where Saren's family is from. Let's see if we can find Tibet on a map. Okay, so here I am in Brisbane and Tibet is all the way up here, whoa. Do you think you can pretend to fly to Tibet with me? Okay, let's get our aeroplane wings ready. Here we go. And let's land. Good job. So while we're here in Tibet, why don't we have a look at a Tanka painting? Now remember, this is what inspired Saren to make his artwork. Okay, what do you see? I can see a landscape. And I can see figures floating above. Wow. All right, let's have a look at Saren's painting again now. Hmm. I see a big shape floating in the middle. Why don't we put on our binoculars and have a closer look? It looks like a big jumble of bodies. I can see lots of hands. And the hands are all making different gestures. Let's see if we can make some of the gestures. Can you make a diamond shape? Okay, how about this one? Can you put your middle finger on the tip of your thumb? Ooh, that's a little bit tricky. All right, let's have another look with our binoculars. Hmm, I can see some feet. Can you stomp your feet with me? Stomp. And let's go a little bit faster and faster and stop. That was very fast. Okay, let's have one last look. Mm. Can you see any other body parts? I can see knees. I actually know a song about all different parts of the body. Can you sing it with me? Heads and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Heads and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. 
eyes and ears and mouth and nose, heads and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Let's sing it again. Heads and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Heads and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Heads and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Well done. Thank you for singing with me. Now, let's have one more close look at Saren's painting. Can you see what is wrapped around the hands and feet? Snakes. Can you be a slithering, hissing snake with me? S Traditionally, in Tibetan art, snakes can represent negative emotions like sadness or anger. Perhaps the hands and feet in this painting belong to people who are trying to overcome these emotions. Tibetan art traditionally is used to practice mindfulness. When we are being mindful, it means we are paying very close attention to how we are feeling, what we are seeing, and what we are doing. Let's do a mindfulness activity together. We are going to slowly look at each color in Tseren's painting and I want you to think about how that color makes you feel. Some colors might make you feel happy or sad or playful. To all the adults watching, you might want to take a moment to discuss each color with your child. All right, let's have a look. Green. Light green. Dark green. Red, yellow, pink, blue, light blue, dark blue. And what's this color here? Silver. And if you look closely at the snakes, they're all different kinds of colors, aren't they? And look, there's little black dots on them. Good job, that took a lot of concentration. Let's get our wiggles out. So take a big deep breath in. And now exhale and shake. <sighs> okay, we have learned so much about Saren Sherpa's artwork, Muted Expression, and about mindfulness. I think we're ready to make our own artwork. Today we are going to be making our own snakes inspired by Tseren's artwork. Here's one I made earlier. So what you will need is a glue stick, some scissors, some colored pens or pencils or crayons, a paper plate, and colored paper if you have it, but if not, you can just use plain paper. The first thing you want to do is draw a spiral shape on your paper plate. This will be the outline for your snake. If this is a little bit tricky, you can ask your adult to help you. Okay. Once you've done the outline, you can decorate it however you would like. I think I might do some stripes, but you can do whatever you would like to do. Okay, when you are done decorating your snake, we are going to cut along the outline. Now you might need your adult's help with this. All right. Now let's give our snake some eyes. Once your snake has eyes, we can get our colored paper or you can use plain paper and color it in. And we want to cut one strip. And then a little triangle. And we are going to glue that to 
the back to make it the snake's tongue. Ta-da, you have a snake. We're almost at the end of our program, but we have time to sing one last song together. Do you think you can sing with me? Oh, I wish I was a silly, slippery snake. Oh, I wish I was a silly, slippery snake. I'd slither across the floor and I'd slip under the door. Oh, I wish I was a silly, slippery snake. Let's sing it once more. Oh, I wish I was a silly, slippery snake. Oh, I wish I was a silly, slippery snake. I'd slither across the floor and I'd slip under the door. Oh, I wish I was a silly, slippery snake. Well done. Thank you so much for singing with me. Today, we took a close look at Muted Expression by Saren Sherpa and we learn all about Tibetan tanka paintings and about mindfulness. I hope you had fun. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.